gotten that doll, that doll that I wanted. She's been staying to the to the east side of the the property. So I've been down in there trying to harvest her. I've seen her a couple times. I've not had her in bow range, but she totally made it. Just when you aspire to know or learn as much as you possibly can about the game you're pursuing, they will humble you. They will prove you wrong. All day said. Gives me this is a perfect opportunity for a, a shameless plug. Sure would like to have your support and try to get this YouTube channel going. So like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. That's what they all say. Hit the bell notification so you can be notified of new videos from Whiskey City Traditional. I'm I'm over it. I'm over it. I have hunted extremely hard. I am just not seeing the bucks that I would like to see. I am seeing a plethora of small bucks and an all day set yesterday. Went back out for an all day set this morning. Same scenario. I have been seeing uh, small bucks chase does and those does being receptive to those small bucks. It's a little concerning. EHD hit us pretty hard a couple years back, and I still think we're reeling from that. I mean, as far as the big bucks go in my area, I've seen plenty of those. I just haven't seen any big, mature, what I call a shooter buck. I, do, I just haven't. Yeah, have wheels will travel. Giving you an update. Going to buy a, a uh, deer tag for the first time in a while. I've never really had to do that much. Um, Gonna go buy a deer tag and, you know, I know where there's some bigger bucks or at least I got an idea of where there's some bigger bucks. So heading to a whole different county, see if we can't salvage, salvage our archery season here with, with a shooter buck. So guys, stay tuned and hopefully it all works out. At the Walmarts, let me get an archery license. Going for a license, there was somebody in front of me. So I'm just lingering around there in the hunting stuff. Yeah, two bags of crap that I probably don't even need. All right, folks, here we are. A couple counties over from my county. A friend of mine's place. My friend knows what's going on. Fortunately, uh, he's got enough property to manage deer. Don't know if we're gonna hunt tonight or not. I mean, I'm set up to hunt. Dang backpack. Got all my stuff, so we'll see what's up.
Whiskey City World Headquarters. And the Whiskey City World Headquarters has been this hot in the past. Jeez, there's that buck. Wait till you see the sucker. He's, he's making a rub. That's a shooter for me. 140 is probably one between 140 and 150. He was wide. He had mass. I don't. I didn't see a lot of brown dyes, but with something like that running around in here, I'm pretty excited. So, yeah, that's the biggest buck I've seen all year, no doubt. I still got those behind me. I've got that little yearling buck. I think it's a little butt buck. He's 30 yards, 40 yards, just feeding away there. seen some deer I've had some deer real close to me I've had a spike buck within like nine ten yards a couple times um, it's the same spike buck I've seen him a bunch but I have also seen the big deer over in the field I've seen the big eight I've laid eyes on him uh, four or five times now he's been within 60 yards 50 yards 40 yards at one point just right outside of my range <laughs> this is promising Small doves. 
spike bug this morning. I waited until about midday and I switched my camera angle around to the other side. It's been pretty dead today, to be honest, and I haven't seen a whole heck of a lot compared to yesterday. I'm hoping that means the moon this evening.
camera and then the, the daylight started to break and there was a bucks chasing those there was one shooter there was a small basket rack eight i still hear them in the thicket behind me grunting pushing those doves so it's going to be a great morning
ran from him. And then he turned around and came right back toward this doe that was right in front of me. But by that time, she was she was glued in on me. So she was real cautious. And she just kind of meandered off there. And he came back and went wide back around me. And at that time, I turned on the GoPros. Didn't even have the GoPros on. So I turned on the GoPros. And I think he may have passed the GoPro camera up there. And I filmed him a little bit with his camera on his way back through. But whew, I had him at 12 yards. I might regret that decision. Here's the thing. I don't pass up Bob and Young Bucks. If I call Bob and Young Buck 130 inch deer shooter in my book. And everybody's different, but for me, and where I live here in the Midwest, where it's pretty congested, and a lot of these farms are cut up, a buck like that, you know, the odds are against him for making the season. So letting him walk is a gamble. But where I'm on here is on um, uh, some friends of mine's farm. They manage these deer. They have enough acreage to manage deer. So he very well may make it. So I'm, I have no problems in, in letting him walk. And I feel good about letting him walk here because the chances of him being just a trophy bruiser next year will, will be pretty dang cool. And if I, by chance, happen to come back and, uh, you know, harvest him next year, what a cool video that would make. But anyway, I am rambling on way too long. But here come the thumbs up. We're going to sit down and see, see what else goes cruising by. Here comes the, here, now, now here comes the thumbs up.